Ah, uh, no, no. We're back again. We're back again for one last time for Sonic Forces. After this, it's a game that should hopefully follow a lot more logically than this one. <laughs> wow. I don't know what it is about, like, you know, when I played this game to review it and I was just kind of there in the moment, like, it was fine, but there's something about watching this game back with no input that just... Did you ever do a review of Sonic uh, Lost World? No, I, I mean, I just kind of pointed out that I just find it one of the more boring ones. Mm -hmm. Like, Sonic Lost World, let's just get into that quickly. Sonic Lost World is very interesting in a lot of ways, but somehow it it's interesting, but also somehow very boring. It's like, taken as a whole, it tries so many different things. There's a stage where you're a giant snowball, there's 2D platforming, there's a stage that's suddenly a giant, like, sweet world stage from... Sonic Colors. It has so many ideas. It has like, so I'll... many ideas, stage to but... stage. And you could just accuse it of stealing everything from Mario Galaxy. <laughs> like, I'll, like, I'll be honest. Like, I get, like, the idea of it, like, probably being, like, super bad. But to me, it's, like, the only Sonic game, like, like right now I actually want to play. Because, like... Get on Steam and judge for yourself. I don't like it, but I feel like it has good ideas. I I, I honestly on. love the design of the worlds. Like maybe they're like a rip off of Sonic, not fucking Mario audit, Mario, 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 fucking what Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. But like fucking, I don't know. I don't think it's that much of a rip off because they're just like weird tubes. They're weird tubes. That is one of the strange things about its aesthetic sense is. The tube design doesn't actually add much. It just makes stages look weird and kind of, in my opinion, ugly. You can disagree <laughs> on that one. The parkour system they add is, a, I believe, a good idea for Sonic. I think Sonic sh could have a defined parkour system that would add a lot to him if it tied into his speed. Like, you know, build up speed, jump on a wall, hit a button, start wall running, and you carry that momentum. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like a continuation of what was in Sonic Adventure, but... The parkour system in Lost World is a poorly explained, only occasionally used mess. Doesn't help much. Like, Sonic games have had, like, segment parts where, like, like some objects just stop Sonic right in its track. And I feel like there should be a gameplay mechanic where you, where, like, you're running up against the wall and you're, like, in a regular Sonic game, it would stop you. But, like, if there was, like, a timed, like, mechanic that you could use to just, like, make like, make that go with your momentum. I feel like that would be, like, really good for a Sonic game. Hmm. Like, a parkour system and, like, things like that are just a natural... a natural fit for Sonic. Because I think Sonic games, obviously, a lot of folks should be on momentum, but also in, like, timing. Timing to keep your momentum. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the last classic Sonic stage. He's dead. He's dead now. He's dead. He actually died after finishing it. What if Classic Sonic had actually died? And Tails would have been like, No, my friend, the Classic Sonic. Uh, no one else would have cared. They would just be like, It's fine. We got the original back. Fuck him. I miss Edgy Sonic so much. I miss it. It's gone. Like, nothing nothing fun like that can happen anymore. Like, uh, the, honestly, the height of like the whole Sonic mythos was Sonic... Was Shadow the Hedgehog, and then Sonic 06. I don't know. I wouldn't call that the height. I could... That's the height of Sonic, Snake. You can't say it. Shadow... Shadow's crap. Edgy. Well, I mean, but you know, at least it's fun. At it, least it, it's it, so I, I wholeheartedly believe in, like, trusting you that Shadow is probably a shitty game. So was also Sonic 06. But... That's just the height of Sonic, in my opinion, and there's nothing you can say that will make me decide against that. You want Sonic to be a JRPG. To have a JRPG story of fucking grand proportions. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. Because that is Sonic. That is Sonic to its most fucking loyal fan page who write hundreds of hundreds upon of articles. Like, that's the... I feel like... You pro maybe you haven't like put like thought much about us like doing the like the fan articles and like the game at the same time, but I feel like the, the contrast is like kind of beautiful in the sense that these these people who are like 
honestly true Sonic fans, even probably more truer Sonic fans than any of the creators working on Sonic Forces are creating that. And probably, you know, like objectively, the quality of those articles aren't good, but I want fucking someone as stupid as fucking Wire 5 to Galactomobi and to just show up in a Sonic game. Like, I don't want, like, him exactly, but some I want Sonic Team to be able to, like, think of something like that. I want them, just like, in their heart to be able to come up with something like that, but all that they can come up with is fucking Sonic Forces. No, I now see what you mean by that. In these people's minds, the Sonic world is this vast infinite thing filled with crags to slot their characters into so much possibility for bullshit to happen but but they the love it comes out... they, they love sonic so much and so it's just like a stepping stone for their own fucking creations and that's beautiful in a sense but sonic forces which like ever since they introduced like infinite in their trailers and like the fact that you can make your own character it's just kind of like they're it's another fact that they're embarrassed to make Sonic be what its most loyal fanbase wants it to be. You know what I blame it on? What? The new American writers. Mm. I, I don't want to get real for a second here, but it's, you know, the people who write it, they're like, okay, Sonic, kids cartoon. So, kid cartoon sensibilities, lightweight plot, anyone can digest it. Not much actually there to think about. Mm -hmm. Easy going, throw in a few corny jokes. Sonic Team should ignore anything that fucking video game critics say, and anything that fucking asshole fans on the on internet say. Like fucking, I don't know, someone like, goddamn, who makes like internet let's plays and internet reviews is like, I hate Sonic because he's like, what is that? Why is Shadow the Hedgehog here? Fuck that, fuck that guy. Don't listen to those people. Have Shadow the Hedgehog be there. Have Sha give Shadow the Hedgehog guns. Give him a bunch of guns. Because that's what Sonic is now. You can't just, like, go back. That's fucked up. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, Sonic Team, which, you know, you're definitely listening to this video. What you, f what you don't realize is Sonic's just always going to have the piss taken out of him. It doesn't matter how sensible you try and make Sonic. It doesn't matter if you tone down the story... You know, cut the cheesy jokes, cut all the cheesy bullshit. They're just still gonna say, man, Sonic's been an embarrassment since the 90s. So what you do is, you become that embarrassment. You embody it and just give the people the embarrassment they want. Mm -hmm. Big, grandiose storylines, because they're gonna take the piss anyway. So you may as well become what they want you to be. Honestly, in a certain way, the best thing... Not probably the best thing, but like in a way, <laughs> the most like culturally relevant thing to Sonic that ever happened is Sonic 06. And it's not like it's even the worst game, because like Sonic 06 still had like fans to it. We have fucking. Oh yeah. There are people who will defend Sonic 06. There are people who will defend Sonic 06, and that's beautiful. That's be absolutely beautiful. Let them defend th them. Honestly. What is Sonic o Sonic's magnum opus? Is Sonic 06, where he gets fucking stabbed by another fucking recolor and makes out with a real human person while dead. And that's beautiful. That's what Sonic should be. And nothing anyone can say will ever, ever fucking change my mind. Oh boy. You know, here's the thing, okay? Sonic 06, it may well be remembered for being the worst Sonic game ever made, but it will be remembered. Mm-hmm. Definitely. It will definitely be remembered. Not this, though. This is... This is ephemeral, this game. This game... This game's gonna come and go. By the time the next crappy, boring, milquetoast Sonic game comes out, yeah, it's just... You know. This will just be there. I feel like this will... Honestly, I don't. I'm. I have no hope. What the fuck is this shit? I have no hope for fucking uh Sonic Team learning like and appreciating Sonic in any way. And I feel like this, like this game here, is like marks kind of the end of Sonic in a certain way. But I hope not. I hope they're uh, no. Here's the thing. Here's the worrying thing. Even though it's a good thing, Sonic Mania coming out and getting such good reviews, and then this coming out and just. Not even selling half as well as Mania. 
Here's the thing. Mania is fantastic. I love Mania. Mm -hmm. Such a good game. Really fun. Fucking. Yeah, I also love Mania because it's also it's another like aspect of the fans being fucking you know what's keeping Sonic alive. But here's the thing, so Sonic Team's gonna read that, and, you know, Fred Robert Valley can play. Man, I'm scared they're not gonna make 3D Sonic anymore. I hope, and, you know, mm. I hope this trash fire continues, because I don't want Mania to just. Mania could do so much damage to this trash. Uh, yes. Like, because Sonic Mania is. The, like, there's like. There's like two sides of you going to go. Like, there's like the batshit crazy, like. Embracing Sonic, the embarrassing furry nightmare that it is, and then there's going back to the 90s, you know, going back too much in the 90s where Sonic is just like a cool relic retro thing, and like that's what Mega Man became. And I don't fucking know if me anyone really cares about Mega Man anymore. Oh man, people care about Mega Man. You don't know. You don't yeah, know but the games are like. Like, Mega Man 9 came out, and then they had, like, a bunch of other Mega Mans that were exactly the same. Like, retro fan wankery shit, and I'm, like, kind of It's just... always been... I don't know, maybe I'm just not into the fandom, but I've always found it so strange how, like, man, why aren't there new Mega Man games? And then you look at how many of them existed. It's like, wow. There are so many of these. There's, like, there's like a lot of love in them, which I appreciate, but it's looking backwards, and... When making games, you have to always look forward, I think. Like, it's okay to, like, sometimes, like, it's okay to look backwards sometimes, but if you, like, get stuck there, it'll be like Mega Man, where, like, Mega Man 9, which, you know, people, like, loved, but then, like, when was Mega Man 9? Like, I think almost 10 years ago? What has Mega Man been since then? Nothing. S speaking of looking back, that final boss phase was just... Just a remake of the final boss of Sonic Colors with like a couple of different moves. As you do. <laughs> yep, yeah, it had less moves than that boss. It looked near enough like that boss. And that was it. It was just Sonic Colors' final boss. Which people liked Sonic Colors' final boss, but you know. Was this final boss? Why isn't the game. <laughs> Why is ah, the video I'm fucking still going? Because then? the credits are very, very long and. <sighs> I think there's a post-credits scene. I don't oh remember. My God. I don't remember if I have to risk us going through the credits. What if we just stand, like sit there quietly and like? <laughs> <laughs> That'll make it easier for me to edit the commentary because I can just cut all that shit out. We can just look at all the names and go. Ah. Just say I'm sorry to each of them. Hey, look, there's some confetti. They have thrown a party. They ain't fighting. And this war segment back again, like SBO shooting at people. You know why? Isn't isn't Espio able to turn invisible? Yeah, he should just leave. I read a really good post, and I don't remember where, but it was just a really good post of someone saying, just imagine how many times Shadow just got punched in the face during this fight. Like, the real Shadow. That dude has no eyes. <laughs> it's the Galactimobian! Where fuck Galactimobian! <laughs> I don't think Sonic Team will ever be able to create something as... Viscerally horrifying as Wire 5 to collect the <laughs> uh, I don't know. I should just edit in all the fan characters into that shot. <laughs> I'm not going to, but just imagine it and find it funny and laugh. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck He's off. He's going away. Just fuck off, classic Sonic. Go back to you Sonic Mania, you piece nothing. of shit. Oh, fuck off, Sonic Team! I hate you, I hate you so much, I hope you die! Open the door so that we can use this lazy idea again! I hope a giant satellite falls onto your station. I hope no one dies, but I hope it's enough to <laughs> think that maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I hope, th I hope the Sonic Team is very superstitious! Oh, so, sad credits music, that is Sonic Forces. How much of this game did you actually take in, Noonan? Way too much, Snake. Way too much, if I'm honest. You were actually taking things in. It's strange how that story is so nothing. It is so nothing. Like, things just kind of happen, and then it ends, and you know. Like, that's the thing about it. Like, you can, like... Like, some commenters, you can, like, go through and, like... You have to pay attention. But, like, you can retain almost everything that happens in Sonic Forces by just, like, fucking, I don't know, picking your nose and, like, sniffing your ass. 
And be like, you glance at a scene for two seconds, see which character is it, and you go, I understand. And then you just stop paying attention at the end. <laughs> and that's like, that's the shame thing, because like, you have to, you have to pay attention to Sonic 06, you know? You have to pay attention to fucking whatever shitty Sonic game there is. And like, this game demands no attention from you, which is, like, un another big aspect of it, why it's just not a good Sonic game. The next commentary me and Noonan are probably doing is going to be Watch Dogs 2 in that game. I'm both dreading and looking forward to it, because that's a game that's going to maybe require some effort. But it'll make a change from this, where you just kind of like... God, I hope we get the fucking... What the fuck was it? Quantum... Quantum what? Uh, quantum... Quantic Dreams? Is it called... Qu quantum Leap. Quantum Break. Uh, oh, the quantum fucking... Break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That game's... I want to do that yeah. game because it's just fucking looks so bad. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just a fun, cheesy, sci-fi channel fucking TV show in video game form. I want to do it. it. I want to talk over it. I want to talk over that. But we... we there's a... There's another commentator. We have to wait on. Mm -hmm. Do that. But we also have a bunch of other things coming up. They yeah, might actually do. be happening right now. I don't know how fast Snake's editing. We have... But Mount Your Friends is coming up. Worm Sing is coming up. The part for the first part already went up. Um, perhaps a playthrough of I, Divine Cyberman, see if Swede will ever send me his footage. <laughs> oh, I, I like that playthrough. Oh, boy, that's gonna be... I don't actually know how long that game is, Noonan. We've only done one recording session of it, and I do not know how much of a dent we made. <laughs> if any, I'm enjoying that game, but I'm also, like, worried, like, how long is this exactly? I know there are multiple endings, and you need to get one to get another, but... We're not doing it, like, twice in a row. It'll just be one run. I'll, I'll tell you when I know. After we get one ending, I'll start doing some... I'll start doing some reading to see what we have to do. <laughs> what? No! After the first standing, I'm going on my toilet to shit and die. Um... I guess... Just after... Also... I'm trying to think of any new thoughts I've had about this game after rewatching it thoughts. I didn't have in my review. Like you've made a fucking... Like a 90 minute review on this game? One hour, yes. I'm trying to scramble for any... Anything I can take away from rewatching it? Have I have I given you any new perspectives by just being here? A little bit. Like what? It's it's in, well, it's mostly just in your reaction to it because playing through a game and knowing what happens and just watching it in detail and like, you know, when you're commentating on a game, you're more disconnected mm -hmm. from it. In a certain, in so a weird you can way. pay more attention in other in other areas. And I don't know. Uh, you took all of it in, which I was surprised by, because this story just feels like boring events happening in sequence. Oh, it is. That. You get sidetracked a lot. I just realized how much of this game didn't need to actually happen. I guess that's the thing that's just like that, so little. Like is that's an, but that's another aspect of like so little happened that nothing happened basically. Yeah, it's like, Sonic, why was Sonic taken away for six months? Well, it was set up so that Eggman could take over the world. But then, it just kind of leaves this plot hole of, well, why didn't anyone do anything? What's... What's been what achieved What the fuck was here? Shadow doing? He just, like, beat up one guy and fucked off, like, I'm going to Miami. <laughs> I'm going to go to Miami to watch a YouTube celebrity die. For some reason, I'm still fucking shook. By that dude thinking that, you know, incorporating a real, actual, live human person dying was a good idea. And, fucking, okay. So, power sources for the Phantom Ruby. That is just sheer padding. That is just, especially because it achieves nothing. It doesn't actually weaken the Phantom Ruby. Eggman just turns up and says, oh, by the way, I got another power source under the city. So, these last several stages you've been doing have achieved... Literally nothing. Look at how we many, could have cut it out. Look at how many people there were like evolved in this, and they were like all like, hmm, yeah, this is a good game. Like, why is that stuff exist, and why doesn't why is it add to that? Why isn't there a level then when you go and blow up the fucking 
power station under the city. I feel like Sonic Forces deserves much more hate than Sonic 06. It does, in a way. It's, like, not as bad as Sonic 06 on some levels, but Sonic 06 is just... has meat to it. It does things. It it's, does things. It's stinky and unseasoned me, but you know what? It's good than a fucking cracker, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Forces is just... So middle of the road, it can't possibly appeal to... I mean, I'm sure this game has its fans now. I got a comment the other day on the review saying that I enjoyed this game because I didn't think too much about it. It's like, I didn't think too much about There's it. There's nothing to think about. <laughs> like, I just, I played it once and those are my thoughts on it. I didn't think extra hard to come to these conclusions. <laughs> you know, it's such a shit way of looking at it. It's like, oh yeah, if you don't think about it, it's good. Nah. No, nah, I don't, I don't even, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Everyone, anyone who says that is just lying to themselves, lying to themselves. Because you're, if you're watching anything, you're playing anything, you're always thinking about it. And wait, the only thing you're doing when you say that is just insulting your own fucking intelligence. Never use that as any argument against anything. You don't shut off your brain. If you shut off your brain, you're fucking lying to yourself. If you're enjoying something, even if it's bad, there's reasons why you're enjoying. There's reasons why people fucking enjoy the Fast and Furious movies. They're ridiculous, over-the-top, funny things. Yeah, there is such a thing as dumb fun. There isn't, it's good if you switch your brain off. Mm -hmm. There's a massive gap of difference between those two concepts. A lot of people, most people fucking just love dumb shit. Fucking dumb shit is hilarious. Yeah, dumb shit's good. You need some dumb shit. It bulks up your diet. It bulks up your entertainment diet. Fucking entertainment trash food isn't a bad fucking thing. <laughs> Why is the fucking goddamn credit so long? Ryoko Nakoa, Yoshiko Mukayama, Takashi Nakayama, Matthew Hodgson, Samuel Riches, Lucy Papel, Douglas Owusu, Daniel Winston, Natalie Cook, Linda Kashaw, Jacob Nixon, Jason Rice, Toby Rayfield, Kay Furnejo, Samuel Bayard, Jason Goonery, Bell, Paul Dunn, Nikki Armod, Naveen Emeron. Wow. Names are so fucking weird. Like, this game, when I say it feels middle of the road, it's like, grimdark, edgy thing. It's kind of like going for people who liked, liked the elements of, you know, like, Sat AM and Shadow the Hedgehog, but they're too scared to go all the way with it. Mm -hmm. And they just, they don't want to write a long story because Sonic stories are seen as embarrassing. So they've managed to cram as much, a dense, powerful level of embarrassment in a really short shit story that can't decide if it wants to be dark or not. Yeah, that's the most shameful thing. Because, like, when I saw trailers for this, I was like, something, like, sparked in me that, like, I hadn't really, like, experienced since, like, fucking the Sonic 06 days. Like, something like, I was like, hmm, actually, now that I think about it, this is, this is Sonic, and it's just, in its essence. It's fucking, what Sonic is, is the fucking 90s fucking side-scroller that was cool in the 90s, and cringy, embarrassing story that you should embrace, because that's the only way you can make Sonic, you know, Sonic again. Yeah, it's... Sonic is embarrassing, and Sonic should be embarrassing. You should play it and you should feel something in your gut that just go, makes you go, ugh. That's the Sonic feeling. You should feel like, ooh. You should like, mmm. You should be like, it's like a weird, like, savory, sour taste that's like in the back of your, like, thing. You're like, ooh. You're like, you're looking at Like meat that's slightly gone off. You like you should be you should be like you should be like, you should chuckle at fucking something stupid happening, not be like mm, nothing's fucking happening. I guess the takeaway at the end of this is the Sonic fan and wiki. It was much more visceral. I felt more alive when recording those parts, even though it was a sick fascination. But then people on the Sonic fan and wiki, they got something that Sonic Forces doesn't. They have soul. They got heart. They got soul, they got heart. It's not like they got something they want to be. They're descending, but with good things, instead. <laughs> like I... Man, Shadow thinks Gun is cool. 
Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't need shadows of fucking approval. It's gun, for fuck's sake. It's fucking gun the fox. No, wait. Gun the wolf the fox. Or gunny. Uh, Sonic's leaving. Sonic gave a big speech about Can we talk about how shit the sh like the fucking shaders for this game are though? <laughs> you talked about it before, but sure, go ahead. They're so yeah. shit! Well, there's, it looks like there's absolutely no shaders in this game. What is this? <laughs> Sonic gives off his own light. <laughs> Bye, motherfucker! You're never in another game anyway, because no one likes Sonic Forces! <sighs> That's Sonic Forces. What a fucking piece of shit. It's not over what a yet. Middle of the road we got nothing. another character. We got, oh yeah, we're not quite done yet. Join us for character time. 